Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. A note about the opposition and their record over the last three. Played three, lost three. Yeah, that grabbed my attention, Peter. And it is turning into an ugly stretch now. And believe me, a dressing room can become pretty depressing when performances with bad results are being dissected. Blame can get a little out of hand at times and not every player reacts well to it. So I think they'll be praying they can stick together here and at least produce a solid opening to this game. We have already started here. And it's Venteke. Venteke goes up and over. Oh, good interception. Tottenham are the most prolific team in the league this season. Kane. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. James McCarthy. And it's Benteke. Out to the left it goes. Schlupp. And that's out of reach. Tottenham have been in fine form in front of goal. They've not failed to score in any of their last five games. Eriksen. Rose. He gets past his man. Tries to swing it in. Yep, it's a corner. He just whacks it away. Finds himself eased off the ball. He spotted the run and played him through. Ali. And it's Rose. Musa Sissoko. Tottenham has had the ball in promising areas, but nothing to show for it. Crystal Palace, whose manager came in for a bit of flack after their previous result. I think it was quite fair, the criticism he received. He was blind to an obvious problem, and he was far too slow in, in reacting to it. He was never going to get away with that. Schlupp. Cross from Schlupp. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Crystal Palace given another corner. Aldevera attempts a clearance. McCarthy. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, shapes to shoot! Sanchez. Ericsson. Tottenham yet to have a shot on target. And it's Aurier. Now it's Lucas Moura. That intervention was very necessary.
MacArthur. Sacco plays it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Deli Ali. Ericsson. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. And back to base. Alderweireld. Rose. Kane. Deli Alley. It's Kane! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's Townsend. Benteke pings it out wide. Now it's Kane. Lucas Moura. He's come loose. He's being closely tested here. And that has been clubbed away. And it's Sissoko. Surely! That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Patrick van Arnholt. Schlopp. It's come through, and he's had a quick look inside. Sissoko battles to win it back. Sissoko goes looking. Come back to the keeper. Tompkins. Sacco with the crossfield ball. And it's Kelly. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Schlup. He's had a shot! Forward it goes. Kane. Ericsson. Kelly. Looking to break out here. Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Loris will lay claim to that. Sanchez. Tottenham going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Musa Sissoko. to get it forward quickly and it's Kane and here's Lucas Moura oh it's a foul they're right on the edge of the box now the referee has given a free kick just outside the box yeah well they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then perhaps the final meaningful act of the first half and a great opportunity to open the scoring here Ericsson! Milivojevic. And the whistle goes for half-time. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil now. And we're off again.
No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Now it's Lucas Moura. Shoots! Oh, extraordinary. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. So here comes a substitution. James McCarthy. Kelly. And it's Sahar. Crystal Palace couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Let down by a lack of accuracy. James McCarthy. Patrick van Arnholt. Schlopp. Patrick van Arnholt. Schlopp. Crystal Palace have it back and they can go again. Benteke! Sanchez. Rose. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Musa Sissoko. Deli Ali. And here's Kane. And it's Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. James McCarthy. And here's Benteke, played out to the right. Zaha. Aurier. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. Kane. It's Lucas Moura. Now it's Deli Ali. He's got away with one there. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. He goes long. Slop. That's a pop. Big relief. It just needed better contact. Still. A cracking effort, really looked like a man on a mission the way he went through on goal. Ericsson. Rose, Kane, now it's Lucas, and the finish! Same again, same outcome. Tottenham really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Alderweireld. And it's Aurier. Tries to get it clear. Kelly. Well, no goals, but certainly no shortage of action. Well, from an entertainment viewpoint, it's not the scoreline we would have wanted at this stage, although I'm not complaining about the going for goal! And here's Schlupp. MacArthur, promising cross, timely intervention. Ericsson. 
hoists it forward. It's a promising ball. Well read, he sorted that out. James McCarthy. And it's played forward. Good take, and he's had a go for goal. Oh, the ball's come loose. MacArthur. Crystal Palace merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Aldevera switches it towards the other side. Milivojevic. And here's Benteke. Out to the right. Zahar. Lovely feet. Tries to pick out a teammate. And they've been caught out here. Crystal Palace showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And it's McCarthy. And here's Benteke. Deli Ali with a definite foul there. Sprayed out wide. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Defending of the desperate variety. Milivojevic crosses into the area. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. That's a throw. Kuyate. And here's Benteke. Looking to force it. Has a hit! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Ericsson. Rose. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Great leap! Oh! He's missed, but not by that far. Sancho did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Zahar. Going through, Zahar proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? 
a rather flat performance for me when we expected something a lot stronger. I think they thought the win would just come to them, and it didn't. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input, and from us both, good afternoon.